Hello, this is Zahirul Alam. Welcome you all on Frankly Speaking. My guest today is Dr. Kapila Gupta, the President of International Inner Will for 2017 and 2018. International Inner Will is the largest women voluntary service organization which has the presence in 133 countries in the world with over 100,000 members. It extends a helping hand whenever and wherever needed and promotes friendship. It believes in a happier future, better lives. Inner Will International has been around for 93 years. This year, the International Inner Will celebrates its 50th president and Kapila Gupta is the 50th president. President Kapila Gupta is a doctor by profession at present. She is holding the post of director consultant at Dr. O.P. Gupta Memorial Diagnostic Center, Rotak. That's in Haryana, India. We welcome Dr. Kapila Gupta on Frankly Speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me. My pleasure. Uh, we know that Inner Will International is concerned about public welfare. Yes. The key aims, what I have found in your website, that to promote true friendship, yes. to encourage the ideals of uh, personal service, service, and to foster international understanding. understanding. Yeah. What it means for you? Actually, uh, in nutshell, all these three objectives, they mean friendship and service. Nothing more, nothing less than that. So friendship among our all members globally, no matter what country, what caste, what color they are, and service wherever in the world needed, within your own community needed, or other country needed, immediately we get together, whether we put in our own money or we raise money to serve. Um, you uh, got elected as president yes. last year, July, yeah. Yeah. 2017, July. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in what capacities you did serve this organization earlier? Actually, um, we have at all levels, like every country has. So we have club level service, district level service, and national level serving, and international level. So I served almost at all posts, from my club president to district president to national president of India, okay. of my organization. And then first time from India, I got elected as uh, international treasurer, okay. first time from Asia, anyone. Mm -hmm. And for three years, I served in continuity. And first time again from Asia in continuity, someone serving as a vice president and then president of international interview. So in this uh, part of your visit as president, yeah. Uh, yeah. what are the objectives uh, you are trying to achieve Mainly, this visit? Yeah, uh, luckily, Mm, I committed to uh, Inner Wheel Bangladesh, especially to Passport Director Dilruba and Chairman, uh, that, okay, in 10th of January is International Inner Wheel Day, okay. worldwide. So I promised them, okay, I will not be in my country, I will be in your country on 10th of January. And my slogan this year for 10th of January for worldwide clubs mm. is, bring in one more member, they bring in many more members, but on 10th of January, every club will add on one more member. Means I mean, that every individual will add on one more individual member? Individual club. Oh, club. club 4,000 okay. clubs okay. we have. So that means on single day, mm -hmm. we will be increasing 4,000 members. Okay. And on that day, looking at global warming and environment conditions, mm -hmm. every individual will be planting samplings. Mm -hmm depending on the environmental conditions. Oh, that's great. Yes. But as a president, I yeah. heard that you have uh, selected a slogan yes, I do. to achieve yes. collectively, to yes. pursue and to, yes. And, yes. and to accomplish, yes. to leaving a lasting uh, legacy. legacy. The badge I'm yes. wearing, uh, yes, I, 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 leave I, I, a lasting legacy. I can see legacy. that, very evidently yes. I can see that. Yes. So, I mean, how you are going to leaving a lasting legacy? You know, uh, for many years, I'm deeply involved in my organization. Even I use my profession for serving the community without charging money and all from people mm -hmm. I served. So then all these years, I used to think many a times that, mm -hmm. okay, let the world around us know what inner wheel is. We don't have to introduce. Even the community we are serving, sometimes they don't remember our name. We have to really stress on, okay, we are from international inner wheel. Mm -hmm. You need to remember us. So then my aim, for giving this theme for the year was, yeah. let's do something mm -hmm. which leaves an impact, which leaves a lasting legacy on the community as well, on our members, 
people around so that wherever we go, everyone will know us as a member from International Inner Wheel. And thank you so much for inviting me here, mm -hmm. you know, and I thank the Inner Wheel Bangladesh for arranging this because this is the most important thing I am looking for, media. Media can do wonders to anyone, good or bad. So if this year we have taken a lot of media people along with us and Inner Wheel has been promoting its branding and hopefully... Uh, as, yeah. as a president, what's yeah. your uh, take on? Uh, uh, you started uh, as a club as a, or as an organization mm -hmm. more than 90 years back yeah. from Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a long journey. Yeah. So uh, how complacent the members of the clubs or as an organization you guys are, uh, that yeah. uh, how far you can accomplish the uh, yeah. objectives or the mission you have set to yeah, achieve? Yeah, we, we are not complacent because we are not satisfied. We always thinking of achieving much more. Mm -hmm. Even if we are serving our own community, we are looking into if you have earthquake in Nepal or some floods in mm -hmm. Italy or in Australia, immediately we join hands and serve that part of the world. So this is what... So serving uh, humanity is the key. Serving humanity anywhere, everywhere we need to. And uh, to add to this, I really want to use uh, today the occasion to convey the message to rest of the world and people in Bangladesh. In India, um, we have picked up uh, sanitation and hygiene, that to girls and women, and we have uh, put in uh, hand washing stations there in okay. schools, and then toilets, Inner Wheel is doing toilets, making toilets in the schools and colleges, and added on to it, is a sanitary napkin vending machine. Oh, great. Inner Wheel is doing it. Government started later. We, it only came to us and I told them to take it as a national wide program and we are doing it. That's a very commendable program. Yeah, yes. Uh, the president of International Inner Wheel, uh, Dr. Kapila, uh, you were talking about uh, how to how to stand by the people in need, yeah. how to, how to yeah. extend your support, your cooperation yeah. uh, through many means, yes. through funds, through yes. to, to giving some sucker, whatever. So uh, is that it's, you were just only stand by during the disaster time or, uh, or, 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 or helping people to, to, to upgrade the sanitation mm -hmm. facilities or there are other issues or other areas you got to, to pursue? Yeah. It's, the inner it's day to day standing by. We okay. do not wait for disaster. Okay. Our members, they look for an avenue. Okay, this is the place. Okay, this is the orphanage or this is the locality which needs development. Not only locality, not only people. They look around the parks that okay, all oh, these parks need to be developed. They are not developed. They adopt that park and uh, make it a place to sit for people to relax. They go into orphan age and look into children, okay, they need uh, money for scholarships, fees, okay. uniform, food. Not only this, um, when uh, we have festivals around the world, okay. like in Western countries, they have Christmas, they put up Christmas bazaar, mm -hmm. raise money for the needy in Africa. Okay. Europe, right. you know, yes, they yeah. may not need much of the help, basic help. Yeah. So they, ra they raise money and the member, they collect things or prepare things themselves. They put up a bazaar to serve uh, members or sufferings in Africa, Uganda and others. But how do, how do you raise your money? Yeah, it's that's all what voluntary I said. contribution. Voluntary contribution, or uh, like uh, these days, I don't know, rest of the world, but most of the places now, um, MNCs, they are uh, coming in a lot with CSR, oh, okay. company sector, uh, uh, service community service revenue. So they that revenue is used, uh, we approach them, uh, or they know that, okay, this is the right platform, we build up a trust in community, and they can approach us, okay, right? If you have the um, location where you want to spend the money, we have the money, you have the time, we join hands together and use that money. So to, as I understand uh, this, it's all about 
helping people in their day to day affairs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But during your presidency, yeah. what are the remarkable, are there any landmark goals you of have set course, for Of course, of course, of course. One, the most important branding in our wheel. And I'm so glad we at France where media is not as free as in Asian countries. Mm -hmm. I got a, a media coverage, press conference, be it Turkey, Istanbul, when we were talking of immigration problems mm -hmm. and how Inner Wheel can help the camps, women and children, those who are dislocated. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the media was there with us and branding. And then uh, when we were, um, I visited Mexico, they had a severe earthquake, women, children yeah. affected there, yeah. and men were away to USA to serve job, jobs and other. Our inner wheel members went there and helped them. And rest of the world, they put up an appeal to rest of the clubs of the world, and they contributed toward that, okay, these are the group of ladies working in that particular yeah. city, and we will pull in money to help them. You got more than 100,000 members. Yes, absolutely. Uh, especially if I ask you about the condition of uh, the countries, mm -hmm. like Bangladesh, mm -hmm. India, mm -hmm. Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. the developing countries. Yes. Uh, what are the major challenges the women folks are facing and what inner will can, 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 can contribute to, to elevate or to empower the yeah. women folks in our yeah. society especially? The mainly uh, the mental blocks. Sometimes they will not agree or no. Uh, if it is labor class, they will say we are going on to the site, construction site for working yeah. and our elder daughter will take care of the younger child yep. which is born in the family. Then we have schools, small camps and we pursue them, okay, bring that child to the school and you study and we'll take care of that child. Someone will take care of that child. So these are the things. Sometimes in hospitals, it is very difficult. Okay, we have come with the food to serve them on okay. certain things. So they may not like it or someone may object why we are mm -hmm. serving. So we have to pursue. We have built up our credentials in the community. As a president of Inner Will, right. uh, generally if I, 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 I'm curious about your, uh, to know your uh, view, mm -hmm. uh, the challenges mm -hmm. common common women folks are facing mm -hmm. uh, in their everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you look at the overall overall challenges to empower the women folks? Yeah, it, and how they, we can stand by, uh, yeah. but not as inner will, but yeah. collectively. Collectively, generally. yeah. Actually, the biggest challenge is financial independence, which we are promoting. The another next most important is uh, self defense. Okay. And uh, through, like we have district chairman, through them, through national president and all, we mm -hmm. convey to them to uh, work on these, mm -hmm. uh, call in uh, the um, police inspectors and all to train them on mm -hmm. self-defense, women police yeah. officers, motivate them to um, have going for your own security. And the, so financial independence is also back of our mind. What are the stumbling blocks? What are the barriers? What are the hurdles? They, they're men, men people. They may not like, oh, no, 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 don't go out because they feel scared. Is that that the family is also, uh, yeah. also sometimes plays very yes, yes, it negative does. role to, to yes. become empowered? Yes, it does. But I think things are changing. In last, say, I'm completing 25 years of service in, in, in a wheel. When I started off as a club president and now as an international president, things are changing. Women themselves are coming up find out a way for us, whether educate us or give us vocational education or a vocational help, we want to raise our own money. So those blocks are going off, but of course the political blocks or the mm. local community blocks are still there, the, which will take some time to get They out. also need to change their mindset. They need to change their mindset that women are equal uh, rights not to surpass men, mm -hmm. but to walk hand in hand for a better community. Okay. Uh, tell us something about your impression on Bangladesh uh, and the activities of the inner wheel clubs in yeah, Bangladesh. Yeah. Yes, I'm so happy. Actually, um, this is nothing like I'm coming to a foreign country. Okay. It looks like my own country, extension mm -hmm. of my own country. Okay. So uh, very familiar things, very mm -hmm. familiar members, very familiar people 
and uh, they have really grown a big so far as their clubs are concerned in last few years especially okay. uh, and uh, when we have past board director Dilruba, she is really a backbone of inner wheel in Bangladesh okay. and she guides them, motivates them and every chairman puts in their best effort and I am so happy to see uh, Sharmin. She is a younger professional. She could devote her time to her profession, okay. but she has an inclination now to community service. And this is the biggest and the very renowned platform for girls like her to come in, join us and to serve the community. So I'm really happy uh, this morning. Can you believe it? Um, I was really impressed and emotional when I went to lay wreath over, pay homage to national. Um, those Heroes who, who laid down their lives for the Yes, and I met member of parliament, you know, and in a will, name and branding goes to parliament. What better could I ask for coming to Bangladesh? So it's a really good thing I'm doing. Tomorrow I'm visiting in a hospital, doing something, and then a meeting a president of People's Party and you, uh, you have great passion for Mother Teresa. Oh yes, I do have. So tell I do us something have. about your philosophy, about your motivation. Yeah, the biggest thing, uh, what you do, it comes back on you. I always talk. So, and uh, I always tell people we are the privileged ones, blessed ones by God to have enough for ourselves and little extra to serve to the community. Yeah. If we serve the community, the same thing comes back to us, to our children, to our family in something good. I found on internet that uh, on a, uh, you yeah. quoted Mother Teresa. Yes, I did. Uh, she said that we sometimes think that yes. poverty is only about being hungry, yes. naked or homeless. No. However, the poverty of being lonely, yes. unwanted, unloved yes. and uncared. Yes uncared for is yes. the greatest poverty. Yes, of course. And that's what our members, they really loved it. And uh, they are doing what our objective, one of the objective is personalized service. Yeah. You know, when the children, they go live abroad. Yeah. So our members, if they have their neighborhood, such families, couples living, they may go out and buy grocery for them, help yeah. them, take them to hospitals. So this is what we do, personalized service. They may not need money, but they need our time. It's all about internal enlightenment. Exactly, yes. Internally you feel it and... But doing something good. Something for, good. For the like people. many doctors, uh, full day, we they may not work in their private clinic, yeah. but one day sitting in a village or in a camp area, so checking up uh, patients, poor patients yeah. who cannot afford going to hospitals. That's a great service for the, yes, for the, for the humanity. Yes. I know that um, you are a practicing yes. uh, physician, yes. uh, you practice an uh, allopathy, yes. but um, I heard that you have keen oh, interest yes. in alternate therapies yes, also. I do How is that? Somewhere many years back, I was in Delhi because of my children's education and someone approached me, you as a doctor, mm. uh, we want you to uh, be linked as in starting an alternate therapy center there in Delhi. Okay. So I said, Is that okay, called Reiki? Everything. Okay. Reiki, acupuncture, acupressure and so many other things. Okay. So then um, I said, okay, I'll join you. Then, I, without learning anything, I could not comment on anything. Okay. So that is how I got into all these things. Uh, practice Reiki on myself mm. on day-to-day -day basis till mm. date and otherwise also. And also, it has really improved me internally too. Also, you got a great interest in astrology. Oh, yes, I do have. Just for my own sake. I don't use it for my children or otherwise, okay. just like that. And uh, also, mm -hmm. you are very passionate about art of living. Of course, art of living as well as self-help um, books written by authors of Deepak Chopra, Shiv yeah. Khera and Robin Sharma. Robin Sharma. So the book which changed my life and I keep changing it, that's uh, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is a book written by Robin Sharma. It's a beautiful book. And um, I always make it a kind of a bed side book for me, one of my collection book. What, what, what's your message? What, what last thing you want to extend to the women folk in Bangladesh or in general? In general, yes. Uh, you know, we have always been a strong personality, always, be it a domestic help, 
housewife, professor, doctor, lawyer or even uh, someone who is not doing anything. So, we need to only realize and open up that potential of ours, yes, that we can do and we have been doing it. We need to just need awakening from within ourselves. We have to prove it to the world. Yes, we can do something good for ourselves and for the other women around us. Thank you so much. Dr. My Kapila. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so thank you so much. It's a uh, you know, wonderful uh, conversation with you. Right. Thank uh, you. Dear viewers, that was my conversation with Dr. Kapila Gupta, President of the International Inner Will. Uh, indeed, uh, International Inner Will pursues so many good things uh, by their activities, by their programs. Uh, they uh, say that no candle loses its lights by lighting another candle. So never stop sharing and helping other because it makes your life more meaningful. They say do good for others, be good, enjoy inner will, expand inner will and empower women. That was their key aims and words. And uh, we're very happy to uh, have Dr. Kapila Gupta. Thank you very much for watching Frankly Speaking and we invite you to watch our next episode. Until then, do take care and goodbye.